she put it in this bag so it made it look like she had a lot. That's okay, that's okay. I am going to be showing my Aunt Merlene how to do her makeup and what she needs to do her makeup. And I said, can I film you? And she said, oh, I don't want you to film me. And I convinced her. She's going to let me film her convince her that she looks amazing because she does. So we laid everything out. We're going to go in and decide everything that she needs, which might be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make a list and then we're gonna go shopping and get it. I'm bringing my aunt to Ulta. It's tucked over there in the corner. And I'm saying this for her for when she watches back this video. I know she's feeling timid right now, but she is one of my favorite people in the entire world and I think she is so beautiful radiates from the inside out and that's why I want to do this for her today she asked me if I'd help her and I put it on the calendar and I made it a priority because I love her so much and I want her to feel good so we didn't want to throw these things away she said oh I don't want to throw these things away and I said don't worry when you see your new pile you won't feel bad about throwing it away <laughs> but just pretend it's not there okay okay pretend it's not there <laughs> Okay, I'll list all the products below because I don't want to sit and say them all as I'm going because I'm trying to show my aunt how to put her makeup on. Her makeup or her skin is similar to mine. It's kind of dry but kind of gets greasy in the T-zone. So these products are good for that type of skin. Now we don't have to look at or do anything else anymore. Oh, mom, turn the fireplace off. Okay, I got you a beauty blender. Okay. <laughs> because this is the, the off-brand one. It's fine if you want to use that one. It's totally fine. This one's just so much better. Okay. Okay. You'll probably just stick it on your fingers and wipe it on your skin. But because I'm doing your makeup, I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. That's the primer? Nope. This is just the Born This. This is just the foundation. You can put primer on your skin. And I okay. highly recommend it. You've got it that Let's do it. At home. Let's I, do it. I would, I would put primer on. So you just pump this in your fingers and just like one is, that's plenty. That's not, okay. Oh, yeah. I look in there to look. You can, you can. Put the look in there and mirror. use it. Okay. Now, am I supposed to use my fingers with this one? Yes. Okay. Yep. And do I put it over my eyes? Um, don't put it over your eyes, huh? I already did. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> you can go under your eye a little bit, okay. just not heavy. You okay, know what I mean? Okay, so you're going to make my, under my eyes look better? Yes. Okay, now I've always been told that you're supposed to let the primer dry before you put makeup mm -hmm. on. Yeah, I usually let it set up. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to feel, oh, it feels good. Yeah, it's good. I couldn't believe the difference the primer made. I really? Just like it's made a huge difference. Okay. With the way my makeup goes on. Okay, well, I'll have that listed too. I'm gonna use a beauty blender, it's wet. Mm -hmm. Do you get your blender mm -hmm. wet? Okay. I want you to watch me the whole time in the okay. mirror, just so okay. you can kind of watch. What we're doing, I'll just start over here. Okay. Start in the center. Oh yeah, this will go a long way. I put too much on. Um, that'll do your whole stinking face. You, I mean, you know how to put foundation on, but keep in mind when you're putting it on, don't put so much in areas that you know are going to crease. Because if you, the more you put there, the more it's going to crease. So go light on the areas that you feel like are going to wrinkle do you know what i mean mm -hmm. um, so if you didn't do wrinkle, primer and you did cc wrinkle, cream wrinkle, is it the wrinkle. same idea yeah you uh -huh. just use the cc cream yes. and BB cream instead of yes, the primer it's all the same or instead of the okay you would apply the it the same way you actually have gorgeous skin like your skin is so nice it really Thank is you. so nice grandma holmes grandma holmes mm -hmm. Oh, did your grandma Holmes have nice makeup? When she face? died at 95, she looked like she was 75. Wow. <clears throat> she <coughs> aged well. So this is actually going further than I thought it was. You only need like one pump. I put two on the back of my hand. You don't need that much. Okay. It's so pretty. It's going on so good. How long should it take me to do put on makeup? Oh, geez. Takes me an hour and a half. <laughs> really? <laughs> So I don't know how long it's going to take I, I you. Want the, I want the 20 minute special. Yeah. Well, I was thinking even less than that, but okay. Oh dear. Okay. okay. Well, okay. I'll do, I'll do. Just watch. Okay. <laughs> you can, you can do it as fast as you want. Bonnie, grandma says if it takes longer than 20 minutes to get ready, you're not that pretty. You said five <laughs> minutes. It takes more than five minutes. You're not that pretty. And I thought, well, <laughs> see, and okay. Does it really take you an hour and a half? No, it really does. I can do it in 45 minutes. When you're doing it, the whole yeah. fledged on. <clears throat> yeah. 
If I had to, I could get ready in five minutes. But if I have an hour and a half, I'm gonna take an hour and a half. Okay, now that your foundation is on, whatever's mm -hmm. left over on your sponge, just kind of work it down your neck like this so that it, it doesn't look like you have a face of a makeup. Line. Yeah, okay. so you don't have a line. Don't put product on your neck. Just whatever's left over on your sponge. Oh, okay. Run it down your neck. Oh, I forgot to do a before picture. I really wanted to do a before picture. I knew you were gonna hate it. And then I forgot. With your concealer, use just a little bit. So do a dot right here, a dot right here, and a dot right oh, here. Don't do that. <laughs> don't worry, Lincoln's getting into the brushes. You don't need a lot. Then use the pointy part of your okay. brush. Stay, so the most wrinkles on your eyes are right up close, right by your eye. So that's the last place we're gonna put it because you don't want it creasing in there. So I'm just going to start right here. And then come down just so that this triangle, you're brightening up that triangle right there. And then whatever's left on your sponge, you can come up and blend it up here. You wanna to try to relax your eye the best you can while you're putting it on. And that's with just a little bit. One, two. Put one more dot just right there where it needs just a little more. What do you think? I think that's a pretty good job. Do you? Uh-huh. See, and since I already know I'm gonna need one more dot. Right there. You kind of look up when you go right under your eye so that it, yes, that helps. So look up when you do right close okay. underneath. Because it kind of stretches the skin mm -hmm. and makes the lets the product get in there. Wow. Well, I still have wrinkles, but they don't look as bad. Yeah. <laughs> this side's more wrinkly than this side. <clears throat> Is it? Maybe, do you sleep on that side? Mm-hmm. You sleep on that side, don't you? <laughs> I didn't know that made a difference. Well, yeah. Do you well, have okay. Because I smoosh my face? Yes. Okay. And see how it actually makes a difference? That's why you don't pull on your skin or, cause it, it just. So I put the same thing underneath my eye that I do on my eyelid. Oh, all right. Do you sleep with a silk pillowcase? No. Do you have a silk pillowcase? Do you have silk sheets too? No. So I do the exact same thing on my eyelid. Okay. Make sure eyeshadow look better. And um, if you're gonna take that time to conceal the discoloration under your eye, but you don't on your eyelid, it kind of looks funny. So I like to do the That's eyelid as well. Okay, <clears throat> I think it looks really good. Well, see, now I could go to town like this and it wouldn't bother me as yeah. much. <laughs> okay, now you're gonna okay. take your bronzer and your bronzer brush. Is that brand new bronzer? Mm-hmm. That's a pretty. Yeah. It's really pretty. Mm. Okay, so. Wasteful. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start on your cheeks. Doesn't it smell good? Mm -hmm. it smells like chocolate. I know. <laughs> it's infused with with real cocoa. Okay. Mm. Hope nobody licks my face. <laughs> or maybe someone will. So, kind of do your face like the blush face, you know, so mm -hmm. you can find your cheekbones, kind of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's a lot. Okay, so you already know about the three. Mm-hmm. And since you don't wear blush, it's okay to come down. Three lights on. Like that. Turn it off, honey. Your mama doesn't want it on. And I wouldn't do a lot down I here, but just a lot. 
So three Turn like it off, this, honey. you know, the one, mm -hmm. two, three. Mm -hmm. And when I do the jawline like this, I'll just dust a little down my neck. The fireplace, you know? Off. Okay. But there's not a lot of product on my brush. I mean, it all like stuck right here on your cheek. Don't worry, we'll blend it out. <laughs> well, that goes on so good. I know it's like messing up your hair, sorry. Oh, it's okay. But you want to get it up in your hairline so that it looks so natural. Why don't you get your shoes and play in Grandma's backyard? Go put your shoes on. We don't need to. Grandma doesn't know how to work the TV really well. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what you're thinking so Grab far. Grab a little while. Okay, all right. I'll learn for the other side. It kind of looks. <clears throat> so far, so good, I okay. think. <clears throat> I don't know what you're thinking. Feel free to well, be honest. I, no, I, I'm just like, okay, I'm just trying to pay attention. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. You just go underneath your cheekbone and blend it up to your forehead. You know, this like line right here. I know you're gonna be able to do so good with it. I think the problem that I had before is, I thought you had to have a lot on your brush. No, yeah. no. You don't, just a little, but it makes the biggest difference. And this makes a really big difference. Going down your neck? Yes. And you don't need a ton. There's like hardly anything on my brush, but just running your brush right there just makes your whole face and neck blend together really well. Do you like it? I, I am extremely impressed on the eyes. And, okay, so we covered your eyes and we made them brighter, mm -hmm. but then putting a darker shade right here mm -hmm. is going to make it appear so much more okay. bright because it's darker on the sides. Okay. And this is where blush kind of does that same thing too, but you honestly don't need it if you just put just a little on your brush and, you, and kind of put it where you would have put some blush. This was such a good color for you. It is literally perfect. I was a little worried. I thought, well, if it's the wrong color, it's gonna make or break things. Don't you think that looks nice? I think, I think it you looks look wonderful. Excellent. I think you look wonderful. And I don't want to overwhelm you, so I won't even teach you this. I'll just do it real quick. <laughs> if you want to go on the sides of your nose, you can. You have the perfect skinniest little nose, and it's amazing. So I'm just gonna put a little, little on the sides. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to. Just so when Uncle David sees you, he says, wow! Yeah, I know this lighting is not perfect for the video, but that is not the point of this video. Mm -hmm. But you see how many times I've gone over the same area? Mm -hmm. You just, you I wanna know. start light. And this is why it takes me so long, is because I start light and you just build up to it and that's what makes it look so much better. But you can do it in a hurry too and it looks fine. I like it! Do you? I really do. Yay. Okay. See, I needed different colors. Yeah, the colors make all <clears throat> the difference. The colors make all the difference. I'm. Mean, that's just, mm -hmm. they just make all the difference. Good job, Bonnie. Thanks. Okay, mm -hmm. you should put your lipstick on so you feel less naked. Is this the I one you like? I've got the same opinion. Everybody says, oh, you put the make lipstick on last, and I'm like, uh, I, don't. I don't think so. I like putting my makeup on with at this lipstick. stage because then I'm like okay now I know what I have to do yeah you know yep. to finish up and to look I really like that color so honestly I don't even think you need your hula bronzer anymore it's just dang near gone you can keep it if you want but you might not have room for it I have to make them straight because I think my lips are crooked. Mine are crooked too. I didn't realize that until I started wearing lipstick mm -hmm. more. Oh, it's my eyebrows that I realize I'm like, oh. <laughs> one of them is here and the other one is here. I'm like, 
Get ready. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I'm going to Joel. I'm just talking to Joel here. For yeah, Joel. <laughs> She's getting comfortable. I am. <laughs> okay, now what are we doing? Okay, we're gonna do your eyebrows. Oh, I'm, that's that's really hard for me. I know it is. I know it is. I know. If you, it, your eyebrows are honestly great the way they are. If you didn't fill them in, it would be just fine. But if you wanted to, I want you to have this video so you know just okay. what I do. You already have good shape from this to right here. And okay. then, like everyone did, they plucked everything out and now no one has eyebrows. That's just what everyone did, it's just true. It just ended up that way. Yep. The other side looks better. Yeah, so I'm just going to, here's her arch. Here's your arch. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to draw a line from here to her arch. I'm just gonna fill that in straight over to her arch. Straight line, that's not hard. And Joel, this might be a long video, but I want you just to leave it, it's fine. Okay, and then I'm just going to go to the top of your arch and draw a straight line down. And then I'm just going to fill the end of your eyebrow in. And then I'm gonna go on top and also fill that in. Just so the end looks a little thicker. I don't know if I can do that. If you can't, that's okay. That looks good. Looks really good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And that's a good color. Yes. That pencil is the best pencil. Oh, can, it's can you the make best. Come over? Of, of any pencil. Okay, so that's the pencil I want to stick with. Yep. Yeah. Now, when I was at the store and you guys were chatting, what I was doing was very crucial. There's a store full of colors, 500 pencils, 500 everything, and I've gone through a lot, I've tested a lot, and literally the ones that I got you are the best. You're a sweetheart. So, I'll have all of them in the description. And that's so people will... How do you oh, do that? Right How down do you so you can do that? Oh, yes. right here? Yes, does that look good? <laughs> okay, so this is eyebrow gel. It's tinted eyebrow gel, and it basically just holds your brow in place. Um, lifts the hairs up, which gives like an upward appearance, and you basically you're just putting mascara on your eyebrows. If you don't like the stuff, you don't have to use it. I've had it before. Mm-hmm. And I just comb them straight up. And it, I think that this product marries the eyebrow and the pencil together. Just makes it look less like you drew your mm -hmm. eyebrows on. And you can even do more. I mean, I went light handed. You can, I mean, you can kind of see the difference between the two. So if you wanted to go in and really good I like my eyebrows that's okay. probably the first time I've said that so I just got you two big girl brushes okay <laughs> these are big girl brushes these are not <laughs> so we throw these away there's a flat brush and then there's a fluffy brush and what the most simple way to do your eyeshadow is with two colors so in this palette there's two options. You can do a light color on your lid, a dark color in your crease, or this light color in on your lid and this dark color in your crease. And I use the flat brush. This is for your reference later. I use the flat brush for the light color. I'm going to do the pink one since you don't usually do that. Just so okay. I can show you. Super basic. Swipe it across the whole lid. And to see if you even like that color. Do you like that color? It's not bad. Not your favorite though? Well, I'm just not used to it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over the top of it with the lighter color, just so it lightens it up. Okay. 
Do you like that? Mm hmm I do. And like I said, if you don't like this palette, if you're like, I don't like the pink color, take it back and just say, can I so trade you, it? So you put the pink on and then you're too, doing white over it. Yeah, because I just didn't know if you would like the pink, you know? No, I like that. Okay. Something different. Mm -hmm. But if you want the regular one that you had, just switch it out. Just go in and say, I got this one, but I want the other one. Okay. Then I'm just gonna take the fluffy brush and dip it in the brown. And I'll just go back and forth right in your crease. And that's what you do? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You've got a lot of eyelid. Oh yeah, you have great eyelids. To cover my big eyes. <laughs> yeah, I love them. I, it looks really nice. Okay, so which brown did you use? This one. Okay. <clears throat> and either would be great. One's just going to be darker than the other. Do you ever put eyeshadow on your bottom eyelash line? Uh -uh. Why do you put <clears throat> it on the bottom lash? Um, I don't know. It's preference. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Put some on. Let me see. Okay. Please. <laughs> I'm gonna take the flat brush. Okay. Flat brush? And which color do you use? I'm using the darkest one. Oh, okay. Because it looks darker in the pan than it does. So look, so you can hold your mirror up. And I'm gonna, yep. Oh, she looks like a stranger. A stranger? Yeah, she looks like one. And I only go on yes. the outer half of my eye. I like that. I do too. I do too. Yeah. Now that's the darker one you put on my, in the crease too, uh -huh. right? Okay. Yep. I mean, it is a little dark, but I think it's pretty. <clears throat> I like that. I do too. Okay. Oh, you like to wear eyeliner, don't you? Mm-hmm. On your top. So, I'll let you, well, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. Is that okay? I sharpened Do you it. trust me? <laughs> okay, mm -hmm, I do. Okay, so I'm just going to, and I'm not going to do it all across your whole entire eye. I'm going to stay on the outer edge, so like on the bottom eyeliner with the powder, I stayed on the outside edges. I didn't go all the way inside because I feel like it looks nice to have it that way. Okay. Is it different than what you mm -hmm. usually do? What but do I you, like that. What do you usually well, do? Well, I, I don't like how it, I usually go all the way across, but I don't like how it. There's that stop. Yeah, and there's, and there's, mm -hmm. this side goes on different than this side, no matter what I do. And so, yeah, I like that. I'll, I'm gonna bring it in just a little more. But not as heavy as the outer, okay? I think it makes the eyes look softer to do it that way. Obviously you do what it makes, so close this one. You just do what obviously you like and what you feel good in, but I think sometimes the more eyeliner people wear, the less, like you don't, you just don't, I just don't think you need as much. So I'm going lighter on the inner. I know it feels different and looks different, but that's the point. We don't want to do okay. the exact same. Okay. 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 You want to put your... Do you have eyeliner on? A little bit. A little bit. The same way that I put it on you uh -huh. is how I just put okay. it on me. Oh, okay. You want me to do the... Yes. Mascara. All right. That's the final. <laughs> what do you think? I think I you look really love great. It. Mm -hmm. I think you look nice. It sticks a little crooked. We put a little bit of eyeshadow like underneath, and then we... Um, Aunt Marlene put mascara on. It's blurry now. Right, there we go. The eyebrows are the most impressive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Change. Yep, yep, yep. I love that.
And that's what you liked the other day was your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. You I look do. beautiful. Well, you thank think? you. You're welcome. Okay, I know that the quality of that video, like the angles, it wasn't a sit down and do a makeup tutorial, but that was not the whole point of this video. The point of this video was to show my aunt simply what products were good and how to put them on her face. And now she has this video to look back on and hopefully be able to reference it for when she's trying to recreate those eyebrows. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Give my Aunt Merlene a big thumbs up because she was very nervous to be on camera. So I love you so much, Aunt Merlene. You are just, you mean the world to me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. I want to be daring, baby. Dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. Begin to better. Let me show you what.